Okay, so yesterday morning I'm in church, right? I'm leading worship. And as I'm leading worship, the, the songs keep pointing to a certain theme to me. It's about how when we're children of God, we're covered by His blood, how He stands in our defense, and He fights for us, and all we need to do is be still. And so I'm trying to portray what the Lord is speaking to me to to the crowd, to our congregation, and um, hoping that whoever the Lord was highlighting was getting it, was understanding exactly what the Lord was trying to say. Um, and if you're a leader at all, you know you kind of scan the crowd if the Lord's speaking to you about something and you're trying to figure out who exactly it is. He's pinpointing who he's talking to, but as I do, I'm not finding anybody. I can't tell who exactly the Lord's speaking, but I just keep feeling it. You know, this is what the Lord's saying. Be still. The Lord's going to fight for you. There's a situation in your life, and the Lord wants you to know he's fighting for you kind of thing. So I, I just went on and hoped whoever needed it got it, and that was it. Well, then yesterday evening, the situation presented itself in my own life. And my first reaction was, put the gloves on. I want to fight this. I want to, uh, you know, kind of thing. And um, I, I had, you know, the phone call planned. I was going to take care of this. I was going to address it. It wasn't going to be okay. This injustice in my life. And, but, of course, it was evening, and it was too late to feel anything about it last night. So this morning I get up and I go into my prayer time and I'm talking to Jesus and I came with my gloves on still. I'm like, all right, God, what are we going to do to fix this injustice? What do you want me to say? How do you want me to handle this kind of thing? And while I was doing that, I, I, I got quiet for a moment because I try to do that when I pray, talk and listen. And the song, one of the songs that we did yesterday, one of the lines is stands in my defense. And it went through my brain, and I thought, oh. <laughs> now, maybe the, the theme yesterday was for somebody else and something that they were going through in their life, but instantly I knew the Lord was speaking to me. And the theme that he was highlighting was for a situation that I hadn't even, I hadn't even known about, hadn't even occurred yet. And so I'm like, okay, so you're telling me to be still. Now, if you've been a Christian at any length at all in your life, You've probably heard God speak this to you at situations. He does this to me regularly because I want to fight. And at times the Lord says, no, I don't want you to fight. I want you to sit still, be still. And so I'm like, all right, I can do that. I can do that. So I remember prayer times. I'm like, all right. And physically I'm still, but in my mind I'm still fighting this. I'm still angry, and I still want God to bring his swift justice and light. And I feel guilty. You know, I feel the conviction of the Holy Spirit say, that's not being still. So I'm like, what does be still even mean? What is that? You know, we use that term loosely. In Psalms 46.10, it says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen, and I will be exalted in the earth. Now, the funny thing is, is the last song that we did yesterday in our worship set was about exalting God. And so I knew instantly when I read the scripture that it's just another confirmation that God was definitely speaking to me yesterday in those, what he was saying, be still. Okay, so what, is that, what does that mean? The word be still there means to cast down, especially the hand. So instantly when I read that's what that means. I saw my gloves come down. It means to let fall. In other words, it means to let it go. You don't just sit physically still when God tells you to be still. It means to let it go. Take down your gloves. Quit the fight. Let him handle this. And then in Exodus 14 and 14, it says, The Lord will fight for, for you, and you shall hold your peace. Now, there, hold your peace means you're not going to say a word. So, not alone does the Lord want us sometimes to sit still, take down our gloves, let him handle this. He also sometimes tells us not to say a word, to be silent. Now, I do believe there are times to fight, truly. And in fact, the Bible says in Psalms 144:1, it says, Praise be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. Wisdom is, however, is to listen in every situation and then be obedient to the strategy that God has for us. Sometimes it's to fight. Sometimes it's to be still. Take down the gloves. 
let it go. And sometimes just to hold your peace and not say words. So I hope this blesses you guys, wherever you're at, whatever your situation is in life, that you will listen and be obedient to where God wants you to be. Um, this is January 13th, 2020. This is the first um, interaction I've had with Willow 57. Uh, I took a month off, got to go on a mission trip. My daughter was in for three weeks, which was wonderful. Mission trip was all Inca. The CBQ was beautiful and got to see a lot of my friends there and see God bless them and encourage them and things. So that was great as always. Um, I, I do want you guys to know that even though it is the 13th and I haven't had anything on Willow 57, I have some amazing plans for this year. God and I have worked some things out, um, some ideas that I am excited about. One of them is videos like this where I'm going to get on and just give you a word of encouragement from from different areas, different journals, uh, my own journals, journals of other people that I'm, I'm in the process of reading. Uh, I'm in the process of reading Mother Teresa's journal right now. Oh my gosh, so good. Um, and so I, I want to do videos like this throughout the year just to encourage you in, in your journaling and, and your walk with God all together. Um, another thing that I am going to do is I've been interviewing people about journaling, asking them if they could get a journal from anybody in the world, who would it be and why, those kinds of things. So um, some of those will be in video form, some of the of actual them on the video, and some of them will just be me recanting what they said. So I'm excited about that. Um, some new journal creativity ideas that um, I'm going to be doing in the next year that I kind of already started last year, but I'm tweaking them a little bit. So that'll be coming up in 2020. And uh, I'm just blessed to be here with you guys and blessed to have you as my friends. And I'll be 